Welcome back to Be Varsity Live. Got what, a little quiet in here. What were you saying there, Trevor? But oh, earlier, it, it's funny because we've got this big window out in front of us here on campus at Big So Christian, and there was a kid that walked by, and I swear he was like a low V-neck, and I don't know what yeah. he had on underneath There's it. Noah Rice. Nothing. Yeah. He had nothing underneath. Nothing else underneath, yeah. but he was the most fabulous, <laughs> like, cardigan Christmas sweater. <laughs> ugly, ugly, ugly sweater, Christmas sweater. ever. Yeah. So congratulations yeah. to Noah. That oh, was yeah. incredible. Because yeah. you got to have uh, – a lot of guts to be able to wear yeah. something like that you know, in public. You just have to be very secure in who you are and, and in your image, right? Yeah. Uh, exactly. well, we're, we're back at Bakersfield Christian. The state championship game is in two days. The busiest guy, I don't know if it's if it's head coach Darren Carr or athletic director Blake Vandershaft, <laughs> who has to set up all the extra bleachers and get everybody in here, all the arrangements. Uh, Blake, what has this week been like for you once you found out, hey, we're hosting this thing? Uh, it's been hectic, but you know what? When you're able to, was the first time since 1924, you can host a state championship game in a community like this. I mean, it's it's been hectic, but it's well worth it. I mean, think I mean, about that, guys. That game was be that was played at the fairgrounds in yeah. front of 12,000 people. Yeah. I mean, you guys That's get crazy. it at home, and obviously the numbers are skewed because nobody could host a state mm -hmm. championship for 84 years. But Darren, for you and hey, did anybody live stream that game? <laughs> I think the trophy was about the size of your, yeah. your phone. Yeah. You're probably you right. Yeah. But, 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 Darren, when you think about that and you guys have that ability to do mm -hmm. it and you are a part of this after playing for, you know, and winning a state championship three right. years ago at BHS as a D-line coach, yeah. are you kind of grasping this whole this whole moment for yourself and for your program and the school and the community and the city? No, I really am, man. And, and I think it helped that we went so far that we did in 2013. I had the feel. We, you know, we, we traveled. You know, we went up to Carson City. We played a game there. And, it was uh, it was a good experience, man. It, it was super important to to go through that. And, you know, God puts you in certain situations. He knows where you're going to be in you know later years in your life, and it's really paying off, man. And, and we we do know what's what, it, what it's like, man. It's it's uh, it's nice. It's nice to have a home game. You know, you know, you don't really have that all the time in a state championship quite atmosphere, and um, we don't take it for granted, man. Your brother is going to play Sunday. Is he going to show yeah. up? I don't. I have not got confirmation on that yet. That seems. Sick. He's trying to win a playoff game right now. I think. Yeah. 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 If it was winning Friday, in, maybe you know, and, and then playing yeah, Sunday. Oh, yeah. you know, Saturday night makes it a little tough. Friday would be good. Yeah. 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 That's all right. Yeah. Well, there would be a hype video. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure there'll be something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. yeah. Blake, for you, this has been a very busy. I mean, the girls' volleyball the volleyball team won a section title. Mm -hmm. um, for they you, already have the banners up, by the way. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's impressive. Really, how yeah. quickly those went. Girls out cross them. country, girls tennis, football, volleyball. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we yeah. had three of your student athletes into our studio yesterday for mm -hmm. all area photo shoot. That would be Maddie Daniel, uh, Liberty Roach, Delaney Roach. Um, those all area will be unveiled the week after Christmas, starting on Wednesday with the all league, and then we'll go into tennis and golf and volleyball, cross country, and then uh, what am I missing here, Zach? I am. No, that's it. That's yeah, that's it. it. That, that, and then football, football will be in yeah. January. Yeah, and then football yeah. will be in pool? January. Uh, no water pool? <laughs> two teams in uh, town. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> but, when you, all, then. but when you look at it in the scope of what you guys can do here with the small school, and mm -hmm. what did you say, 85% of your students are student athletes here? 74 play at least one sport. That's incredible. Yeah. How, I mean, is that the type of parents that you have? Is that the community that you guys have set here at BCHS from yourself and the administration that's over you to get to this point? I, I think it's a combination of everything. I think it's uh, we have great people that work here. We got great people, good teachers, office staff, administration. I mean, you, you're seeing it for this game Saturday. I mean, a lot of these people. I mean, as you go to campus services. I mean, they're doing their normal job, and now you have to times that by three yeah. or four. Mm -hmm. And to pull this game off for Saturday has been a lot of work, especially during the holidays and um, finals coming up next week. It's it's but. It's a, it's a combination of everything. We just got good people here. We got good teachers, good kids. But I'm guessing there isn't a single person that's working on Saturday that's complaining about a single minute of that. No. Because of the environment that's yep. going to be Saturday night. Yeah. No, I, they're they're really looking for. I mean, people coming out of the woodwork to want to help and just do whatever they can to make yeah. this the best atmosphere as we can. Darren, for you as a head coach, yep. um, how easy of a transition has this been because of the administration here at Biggest Hill Christian? Uh, yeah, yeah, tons of support, man, obviously. Like, Blake, there's not a day that goes by I don't talk to Blake. You know, we're not talking about something you know whatever and uh he was great my first year man it was great you know because it's a whirlwind man you know you just want to coach football but that's not the case man <laughs> it's not and i watch paul man and he's you see him kind of struggle with things and this and that and how he deals with it you know and it was great to have uh great to have an athletic director that would come in your office sit down and just talk you know and it, it was really meant a lot man it's it's paid dividends man 
What's been the biggest curveball or difficulty as far as hosting the game, Blake? Has there been something that surprised you as far as this has been a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be? Well, I, to tell you the truth, I think the state took our community lightly. I mean, our our pre we they, we got two thousand pre sold tickets. We sold those in two hours. Two thousand. Wow. Two thousand. Yeah. yeah. I mean, our adult tickets were gone in two hours, and I don't. I've been talking to the CIF and saying, you know, that this this community is going to come to this game. This is going to be a big game. Mm -hmm. And I but think you guys do have a lot of availability for standing. Yeah, we got room. We're, we're selling tickets at four o'clock. It gets. I mean, we're still set day of the game, but um, that's. It's just people realizing how big this is. I mean, and again, if and you don't have a big we, stadium. No, no, and we, and we tried to. We, BC was our first option. I in the hospital, obviously the Condors there that didn't work out. You guys didn't fest, want to play yeah. on ice. Play where they want us to, man. Yeah, yeah, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. But after that, I mean, why not host it at our place? I think we got a beautiful campus, beautiful stadium, and our people here. Are, I mean, I can't say enough about how hard they've been working, and they've taken it great. You know, yeah. it's just great. And it, I think it does kind of uh, lend another layer of of how special it is that it's on your own campus. Mm -hmm. And maybe you maybe you have to turn a thousand people away, or or whatever it might be on Saturday night. But um, it, it is going to be packed, and it is going to be because at BC. Look, it would have been great. Everybody who wanted to go could go, but you're still not going to get 20,000. So, it, you know, it still doesn't quite feel the same as when you've got a packed house. Um, have you talked about that, Darren, with the kids? I mean, knowing that it's going to be a little bit different. Obviously, you've had big games here, but right. maybe not quite like this. Well, it's, it's, it's staying in the moment, man. It's not making the moment too big. You know, we talked about it last night, and uh, – uh, we just we just flat out told them. I mean, we, I think the mistake you make is like when you don't talk about things, you know. And we bring it up. We'll show you pictures. We'll do whatever, you know. Yeah. Um, and we told them like, just do your job. Flat out, do your job. Um, don't worry about stuff. What's going on around you? I mean, because it was pretty hectic here in Tulare Western. I mean, they brought their fans. They brought speakers. I had to use a whistle for the first time in, in, in pregame, which is ridiculous, man. I mean, it was crazy. Um, just blaring their music, man. And I mean, it's. Not gonna be any different. I mean, I think that was probably a blessing in disguise, man. Yep. Yep. Kids, and we brought them in there too, man. They were focused. We yep. came out fast and finished strong, and I don't, I don't see any different here. Darren, for you, um, you got a lot of friends on the coach community here in town. Yeah. How's the reception been from? I mean, obviously, I know that Johnny Moran was here yesterday, yeah. hanging out with you guys. But how has the community and the coaching community been for you and receptive yeah. to you being in this moment and representing the city? Yeah, it's been great, man. I mean, you, you had me and Paul on the other day. We got we got a chance to talk to each other and this and that. And extremely proud of him. Extremely proud of me, man. It means the world to me. You know, he's you know, um, coaching mentor for me. And you know, I had uh, Coach Nixon text me the last three weeks, just telling me congratulations. You know. Love that guy. I mean, honestly, if he wasn't, if he's does. not going to my school, then I would ask your kids to go there. You know what I mean? Just he's just that type of guy. Yeah, yeah. It's just not football with that guy. It's it's life. Yeah. So him and man, and just uh, college coaches too, man. Like just out of nowhere, UC Davis and Colorado State guys text me and just congratulate the coaches and um, it's been great. And just the assistant coaches at BHS, man. And I think I believe they're all coming. You know? Yeah. yeah. So it's been great. Has this grown faster than you thought it would? And what I mean by that is, this your second year? You knew you wanted to be a head coach at some point. Sure. You weren't sure if this was the right opportunity. You take the job. Yeah. You get your brother and your dad on board. Uh, and and yeah. now here we are, less than two years later, you're playing for a state title. I mean, could yeah. you have ever imagined that it would move quite that quickly? No, it's you know it's great. If I can get uh, spiritual on you for a second. I had Mike Foy ask me on the way back from uh, Selma. He goes, Coach, do you think you'd be in this situation a long time, a couple years ago? I said, Mike, I had no idea. I said, my plan, my plan was to do this and this and this and stay here and do all this stuff. And I thought that was a great plan, mm -hmm. you know. And I was like, I, had, I wouldn't have dreamt this in a million years, man. But at the same time, man, it's, it's great. It's awesome. But I'm also not stupid to think it's just going to be year after year after year right. after year after year, you know. We would love it to be. Absolutely. We're going to coach like that. But we, we, we take these moments and we, we, we love them. You know, we're going we're gonna to soak it all in, man. And when the dust clears on Saturday, man, we'll, uh, we'll see where God puts us, man. But we're just enjoying it right now. Well, and that's the great thing about things that you just don't know if they ever, how they come up or when sure. they come up. Like for me, and I'll, just, I'll, I'll do this really quickly, you know, yep. two and a half years ago, I was living in Sacramento, my hometown. I was a half mile from the house that I grew up in. Sure. But I was a freelancer, and, you know, money was struggling a little bit. And then I found out that he moved in the sports editor position. I applied for this job. Yep. Six months later, I meet the woman that I end up marrying here in Bakersfield. Hey. And that's the thing is you never know hey. how things – and that's the thing, too, is coming into this community, meeting gentlemen like the two of you yep. and the kids that you guys have. Mm -hmm. That's, I think, the nicest thing about Bakersfield is as you talk about all the other coaches that are calling you. I think that's the one thing that's special, and you talk about the community, too, Blake. Mm -hmm. It's how special this community in Kern County is. Trevor, just off of that, man, and I think it's important. that You have to struggle to get to where God wants you to be. You do. There's going to be a struggle. There's going to be something there. My last dinner I had – 
was a sourdough on toast. That's what I had. I mean, I had twenty dollars in my in my bank account no. until it, this guy gave me a call and said, "Hey, would you like to come in for an interview?" I was jazzed out of my mind. You know, Darren, so, I was buying food at the dollar store. Yeah, I'm just trying you, to get by. Yeah, yeah. Yep. 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 How was David taken to it? Because he, you, you know, when you called him, he wasn't sure he was done with the NFL. Yeah. Um, do you think he's surprised at how much he likes doing this? <laughs> yeah, you can tell, man. I, you know, I've known him his whole life, man. Yeah. Um, but I, I knew he would enjoy it. You know, it was it was a different situation for him. Um, coaching wise, he's played in Super Bowls. He's been in the playoff games. Right. He's been everywhere. Sure. You name it. He's met everybody, man. And but there's just something about high school football, man. It, there is. It's it's getting 14 to 16, 17 year old kids to to buy into what you're teaching. I think he's having a ball. You know, it was a little bit of a whirlwind. I think his first year, mine too. But now you kind of settle in, and now you get to you don't have to coach as much. You know, the little things, man. You can you can start at, in the middle and work your way down. You know. Like we got a couple more minutes with mm-hmm. you guys. I want you to take this time talk about this, gentlemen. When you think about David was a first round draft pick, his mm-hmm. brother is an MVP candidate, but he's the one coaching you guys for a state championship right now. Talk to me about him. I'm really happy for him. You know, I, people f- see the cars and is, they think a certain way, but these guys are legit men of God. That uh, what you see is what you get with Darren. I mean, he the kids the way he's transformed this program as far as spiritually. Uh, in the classroom, just as men overall. I mean, it's been unbelievable, and that's kind of that's the bar he's – unfortunately, now he's set this bar so high <laughs> that every year you're, you're going to say, well, it's a state championship or bust. But Why not? it's not – you know, we're, we're winning. God's blessing what he's doing. I mean, he's teaching the kids the right way, and this is kind of what happens. You, you, you see this kind of things. But since he's stepped on foot on campus, it's been amazing with our football program and overall uh, on campus, not just the football team. Do I have it on record then that you expect a state championship next year? (laughs) (laughs) I I expect it, man, so you don't have to worry about it. He set a high bar. Congratulations to both of you for everything you guys have been able to accomplish. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Hey, we'll be back. We're going to uh, – it's really too bad we lost the crack because we're going to do predictions know, next. No, we're bringing it back for predictions, out, right, yeah. Blake? And, uh, <laughs> we'll find them. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll find some people. We're also going to talk to uh, to Campolindo's head coach and uh, and do some predictions on our last segment here on B Varsity Live right after this. Thanks, gentlemen. 